Welcome back everybody, Nick here. Today is an interesting day. Emily's here, by the way. Say hi, Amy. Hello. We're going out to the farm that I deer hunt on. We're going up to some late season coyotes and raccoons. I really want to do a little bit of predator management on this farm, but also I really want to take care of some of these raccoons for the farmer. He has a lot of crop damage from raccoons that we've noticed over the last couple years. Everybody thinks I'm crazy, but I really want to do a catch, clean, and cook on a coyote and a raccoon. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking, that I'm disgusting or you're crazy. Raccoons aren't as uncommon to eat as coyotes are. I'm not saying that I'm excited about it or even that I really want to do it like really bad. But I am deathly curious. I can't promise, I can't promise that I will do it in this video. But if I have any interest at all, if you guys give me any interest at all, I will make it happen. We'll do a catch, clean, and cook on a coyote and on a raccoon. Let me know in the comments below. Breaking news, we have a special guest coming with us today and I didn't know until just now. Come here, young man. Hi. This is Oliver. Hi. This is Jamie's son. Ollie, what are we doing today? We are hunting coyotes and hunting ra um, raccoons. Raccoons, are you excited? Yes. Have you done this before? No. Do you think, how many are we gonna get? Uh, three. Three, only three? Five. That's a good man, give me five. Nice. So I want to try and get in an area where we can pull, uh, try some coon calls and some coyote calls at the same time. Uh, so we're going to try and see if we can set that up. If not, I'm going to move closer uh, to the farmer's barn where I know there's a coon problem. Um, but that close to the residence, uh, we're not going to be using rifles. So we're going to switch to shotguns. May change our approach there for a little bit, do some raccoon removal, and then come back out to the part of the farm where we can do some coyotes. So uh, I'm going to talk to Jamie, kind of reassess our game plan, and uh, see what happens. So we'll figure something out. Ollie's got the collar in his hand, but he doesn't know if it's on. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> you okay, buddy? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> For somebody that loves breaking other people. is pouting. <laughs> He's so bored. <laughs> Drop a thumbs up if you take little kids hunting. And you're familiar with the, uh, the t sometimes the difficulties. But it's important that you do it. Alright, it's our second raccoon stand. We moved to a different part of the woods. We sat in the open for about 20 minutes. We played a lot of calls, nothing really happened. So we moved to a different part of the farm. We're gonna try again. distance it might have been a figment of my very desperate imagination um, I definitely saw movement but nothing came in we're gonna go set up for our last guy stand this position really wasn't great uh, our wind was the wind we have a pretty stiff wind it's blowing about 15 out of the south and uh, the wind is at our backs right now which probably wasn't a great idea uh, but it was kind of our last really good setup where I know where there's normally a lot of coons present so we just wanted to give it a shot for a little bit before we wanted to take our last real uh, good stand for coyotes. So we're going to move, get set back up, give it one good shot till dark. Unsuccessful day. But I guess it all depends on how you look at it. We didn't get anything, but we had a good time. And you learned something. It was a beautiful day. Got out with my friends, got out with my sister. It's important to remember that not every time you go out into the field that you're gonna get one. But it is important to remember. You keep a positive mindset. You keep a smile on your face. And you get out and try it again. And every time you do go out, you enjoy yourself. Remember why you're out. And when you enjoy yourself out here, that's what it's all about and that's what makes it all worth it anyway. So I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. See ya.